of the NFL and coming up we'll see the workhorse Jonathan Taylor he's the owner of the third most rushing touchdowns league-wide it's the Colts and the Raiders and it comes your way next EA sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? From the gun on third down, Edwards. And his crew will take over the football at the 35-yard line. Well, this offense has struggled. They have not scored yet. They trail. But a chance here late in the second quarter to try to get some points on the board. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw. Edwards escaping the pressure right. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. And this is caught inside the five. It's a big play there for Vegas. 41 yards. And what great recognition between a receiver and his quarterback because he's going to recognize the trouble, and then he has two options. Cut off the route and come back to hell, or head straight down the field, and he chooses the latter, and it turns into a huge play. Here's Jacobs. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs, his 104th career touchdown, one shy of Tim Brown on the all-time list. And the Raiders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of... Oh. So here's the situation. The football in the red zone for the offense. Second down and one. Edwards off play action. This is caught. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Back to throw. Edwards being chased out. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Raiders are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this... It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Again, he'll drop to throw. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. DeForest. Try it here. He's back to throw. 
And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Julian Brackman. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the... Things are not looking good for this offense. Three-score game in the fourth. They need points quickly. To throw is Edwards on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. throw on second down and this one incomplete as well. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is happening everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Back to throw again. That is caught. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And now they're in the hurry up. A gain of 26 yards. They'll look to throw again. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Over the middle. He's got Mayer. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Raiders are able to cut into that deficit. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did. Now they're setting up here for the onside kick. They need this football. Now can the receiving team thwart that from happening? And this is going to be taken in by the Colts. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted. So for Indianapolis, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. and four. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the air. It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we'll keep our eye on Aziz Alshire. He put up numbers last week with a nine-tackle performance. It's the Titans and the Raiders under the lights on Monday night.
All in all, we have a pretty pleasant December day in the Volunteer State. The chilly rain from last night has moved on. The temps have bumped up a bit here at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Tonight, we wrap up this Thanksgiving weekend with a compelling matchup as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. On the other side of the field for the visit. The red zone alert. Let's jump back in here. First and 10 at the 16. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six. Looking to throw. Edwards flush to his right. And it's caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams with career touchdown number 128. He's now tied with Marvin Harrison for number nine on the all-time list. And the Raiders are an extra point away from drawing level. So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. Edwards now to throw on third down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Elijah Moore, his second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders are an extra point away from evening this one up. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the open. We drop you back into the action here. Ball in the red zone. Offense has it with a first down. Now Edwards, a final shot before break. And he's going to go down. So they pass up the field goal attempt to go for six. But as a result, they leave points on the field. And that's going to do it for this first half. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. And he returns this to the 22. The Raider. The key coming up here preserve the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter. Close game. Third down. Here we go. Here's Edwards. Off the play fake. Touchdown! Hunter Renfro. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Close game late here in what's been a fantastic ball game. The defense has two timeouts. The offense trying to preserve this lead late in the fourth. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. A 
Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, that's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Raiders get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week... So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game, too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So for the Raiders, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. and three, And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Tennessee...